to shout hallelujah to the king tonight? Church, are you ready to take back all that the enemy has stolen? Reclaim the systems of this world for the kingdom of this world. I become the kingdom of our Lord. Talk to people around and tell them, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back. Tonight, Father, we reclaim the mountains. We go forth from the power and authority. Come on, let's see, look it down. Say, can you hear? Let me hear you say. Come on, come on. Can't you hear the sound? There's a battle sound. Let me hear. 
welcome to the prayer gathering. Let's go ahead and get started. Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please have your perfect good and pleasing will over this prayer gathering. May it touch people's hearts now and within the future. Um, I bind up and cage any demonic interference that will come to this prayer gathering tonight. I bind it up and I cage it in Jesus' name. And I decree and declare that this prayer gathering will go forward. It will be a blessing. It will plant seeds inside people's hearts. It will bring people to Christ to accept Jesus, Jesus Christ as their Lord, their Savior, healer, and deliverer. I decree and declare these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and get suited and booted because y'all know we can't do nothing unless you get suited and booted in the armor of God. Um, I pray Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 over us all. Starting at 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god so yes i put on my whole armor of god and i pray that everybody involved in this prayer will put on their whole armor of god as well in the name of jesus christ i pray okay Okay. And I apply the blood of Jesus, the fire of God, and the cross of Jesus Christ over each and every single one of us. May it be a shield of protection over each and every single one of us. In Jesus' name I pray. And I bind and cage Satan, the beast, and the false prophet. I bind and cage all principalities, powers, authorities, rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I bind them up and I cage them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command you, mighty host of heaven, to cast these caged spirits into the dry dark pits of hell to be chained and bound there for the great day of judgment by my lord and savior jesus christ then seal that pit of hell Alrighty, and I bind and cage all witchcraft altars, ritualisms, demonic thrones, demonic gates, demonic doors. I bind them up and I cage them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I close every demonic door and demonic gate in Jesus' name. Thank you, my Lord. And I bind up and cage all witchcraft, divination, and sorcery. I bind and cage every witch, witch doctor, wizard, warlock, chief priestess, high priestess, fallen angel, demon, devil, and all of Satan's agents on all authority levels. I bind you up and I cage you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I bind up and cage Satan, Satan's agents in the kingdom of darkness, their abilities, authorities, territories, incantations, lamentations, curses, hexes, bells, and vexes, their ability to astral travel, their ability to see within the spiritual realm. I blind every third eye and I cut every silver cord operating across the USA and across the nations. And I burn those silver cords with the fire of God. And I bind up and cage um, their ability to control, manipulate, and dominate people their ability to steal souls and their abilities to steal promises gifts and blessings from the people of God and from the people of the land I bind up all of these works I cast it to the ground and I decree excuse me excuse me and I decree and declare that they're now canceled void block destroy and that they will never go forward ever or ever again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare this in Jesus name and I command everything that was stolen by um Satan, his agents in the kingdom of darkness, everything that they have stolen, it must go back to its rightful place, rightful owner sevenfold. For Proverbs 631 is against them. For it says, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substances of his house. So mighty host of heaven, I command you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to go into the houses of Satan, Satan's agents in the kingdom of darkness and take out all of the substances out of their houses and take it back to its rightful place, rightful owners, sevenfold. I command you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
And I bind up and cage all of the kingdom of darkness, assignments, duties, tasks, wills, desires. I bind it all up. I cast it to the ground and I decree and declare that it's now canceled, void, blocked, destroyed, and that it will never go forward ever or ever again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare this in Jesus name. And I bind up all of Satan's powers. I bind it up. I take his powers. I break his powers and I give it to Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ is the only King and the only Lord, the only Son of God. He came down to earth, died on the cross, rose on the third day, went into the pits of hell, took the keys from the devil and ascended back up into heaven to be on the right hand side of Father God. All power and authority belongs in the hands of Jesus Christ. And I loose from heaven down onto earth the following day. Things, Galatians 5 22 to 23 all the fruits of the spirit the rivers of God the rivers of life the promises the gifts and the blessings written in the word of God and all of the kingdom of God assignments duties tasks wills desires intentions I loose from, from heaven down onto earth and I decree and declare that God's original and initial wills will fully manifest they will fully come to pass God will have his will be done on earth as it is in heaven I decree and declare this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I pray for our homes, marriages, relationships, body, souls, minds, spirits, and conscious, our family bloodlines on the maternal sides and the fraternal sides. I pray for our apartment building and the parking lots. I pray for um, our community in the city of Grand Rapids. Um, I pray for all of um, all of our communities across the nation. I pray for um, our presidents, our um, governmental leaders in high and low places. I pray for all go government um, leaders in high and low places across the nations. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I pray for all of our home environments. I pray for our prison and jail systems, our mental health and psychiatric institutions, our health systems, banking systems, insurance companies of all sorts. I pray for full student loan forgiveness for all the students out there. I pray for um, our foster care systems, child protective services systems, our anti-domestic violence systems, our anti-animal cruelty systems, our educational jurisdiction and law enforcement systems. I pray for our alphabetical, numeral, and sound frequency systems. I pray for our legislative, exec, and judicial branches of government. And I pray for our economic, geophysical, political, religion, and war systems across the USA. And I pray that we'll be at the right places at the right times and that our full purposes and our full destinies will be fully fulfilled field in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and my Lord I pray that you align our hearts and our attitudes um, with the kingdom of God and I pray for our salvation healing deliverance and inner healing and I pray that we'll all be filled with the Holy Spirit and the baptism of fire and I release the anointing into us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray amen okay and today's main objective as always is for god's will to go forward across the nations mighty host of heaven you heard that prayer objective do us the prayer objective states and as these scriptures support the prayer objective um, Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please have your perfect, good, and pleasing will over these prayer commands, prayer requests, supplications, prayers, intercessions, petitions, and thanksgivings I ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13, 20 through 21. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, 1 Peter 2, 15, For so is the will of God, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. 1 John 2, 16-17, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Ephesians five seventeen. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Matthew seven twenty one through twenty three. Not every one that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew six thirty three. But seek ye. First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. 
John 7, 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Proverbs 19, 21. There are, no, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Alrighty, please help me to pray this prayer forward. Let's do it together as one. It's so many people out there right now who are in need of help, you know, and it just takes us to open up our mouths and to pray on their behalf. Let's pray for the nations. That means the countries across the globe. Those uh, Europe countries, Asian country, African, um, the continent of Africa, just all the nations across the globe. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Is somebody out there right now who needs your help? He needs your prayers. She needs your prayers. There's kids right now that needs your prayers. You know, we don't um, know every single thing that's happening in different parts of the world. But what we can do is we can come together and we can pray. Okay. You know, without ceasing. If you um, have tongues, pray without ceasing. Um, doing this prayer. Um, if if you don't have um, tongues, that's fine. Just pray to the best of your abilities. Um, read scriptures um, stating um, God's will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Let's just keep this prayer going. And also, um, your praise and your worship. That is prayer as well. Um, breakthroughs come through through our praise and our worship. Chains become broken through our praise and our worship. When we just shout hallelujah to the top of our lungs, that breaks chains, you know. So it doesn't take much for you to help somebody across this nation by just opening up your mouth, okay? So pray with me and let's just go forward. Don't be afraid to shout, scream, dance, um, jump. <laughs> um, it, it's all the Lord loves it and it is helping the next person. Okay, so let's go ahead and go forward.
the word of the Lord says, praise ye the Lord and sing a new song in his praises and rejoice in their king. It also says, let Israel rejoice in him that made him and let Israel also rejoice in their king. Sing unto him a new song and God will delight himself and his people. Come on y'all, we're going to dance tonight. Come on. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give it to God tonight.
Whoa! 
up for a couple of minutes. Streets, 95th and Cicero, White Castle, what, what? What, what? Yeah! Hey, I asked, right? You know, there's a new movie out called How to Train Your Dragon. And everybody's been talking about being a dragon slayer. But tonight, SGM is about to drop it like it's hard for Jesus tonight up in here to tell you, we ain't no dragon slayers. We are giant slayers. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty. We dodge in the pulling down of every stronghold. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're ready to slay some giants in your life, some giants
Tonight the Lord speaks to your spirit and calls those things that be not as though they were. I want you to get one thing on your mind right now that seems like it's dead, that dream, that vision, that seemed like it never came to pass. That idea, that goal that it seemed like you could never reach. I want you to get it on your mind right now. That thing that was on you that kept you from moving forward and seem like it held you in place. I want you to shake. Matter of fact, just shake that thing off right now. Shake. Shake off those weights. Shake off those hindrances. Break them shackles off your ankles. And off your wrists. And tell somebody next to you, I'm living my life. Because what he's called me to. I want you to lift it just the voices. Say whoa, 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 come on church. Oh, 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 I come on, say it now, come on and see. Oh, 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 come on, live. Church, now you say it, whoa, whoa. Blueprint that it was supposed to be that you will be able to fight the spirit. 
spirit of perversion and uncleanliness that has taken a hold of this mountain. Kingdom of government, I release to you my righteousness, justice, my law, divine order, that you will be able to have the spirit that also my servant, Stephen, that you may stand in the face of death, that you may stand for what is right, that you may stand for what is pure and what is holy and what is just. Kingdom of education, I release to you my wisdom, my knowledge, that you will fight the spirit of ignorance and you will be able to push back every sabotage spirit, that you will be able to understand the timing and the seasons, that you will align yourself in the proper place. I am the I am, I am your shepherd and you shall not want. Walk in the destiny that I've called you to and you will begin to get fulfillment for I am God and I don't lie and that which I release it surely shall come to pass says the spirit of the most high God and the signs that I have used even before the beginning of time. And I release to you new covenant. And I release to you new partnerships. And I release to you new contracts and new agreements. And you shall know even as the signs have come before time that when you see the rainbow, which is my sign, that you shall know that I have entered into a new covenant with you and your battle is over. It should be the battle of the day. It could be the battle of the week. It could be the battle of your life. But when I show you the rainbow, you shall know that that battle is over. And I am giving you new victory, saith God. And I am giving you new purpose, saith God. Do not look at this season as you have seasons before and you say, Lord, why do we suffer? Why am I afflicted? Why am I dealing with this? Why am I dealing with that? But look at this season as a time and a testament even to your children's children that the end has come. The end of affliction, the end of woundedness, the end of bruising, the end of difficulty. For I show you the signs in your houses, in the land, in the sky, double rainbows, one rainbow, single rainbow rainbows, rainbows in your cars, rainbows in your houses, and you shall know that I am God, for I have made the battle light for you, for I have stood as Jehovah Sabaoth, and I have stood even as the Lord of hosts, fighting the battle for you, and this is the season that you shall mark on your calendars, and you shall say with the surety, we won, and we were victors, we won, and we were victors in this season, the Lord says, count it again, for I shall not lie, I I have not put you in this place that you will go through over and over, but I put you in this place that you stand great as a victor, said the Spirit of the Most High God. that says for the children the creation shall be released from the bondage of corruption and to the glorious liberty unto the children of God and the word that the Lord released to you on today today is your day of liberty and every time you come to this song every time you find this track on the recording I say to you you are free the Lord says I release to you the spirit of liberty for where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty and you may ask what am I free from well you are free from every enchantment every witchcraft every curse every spell everything that was spoken that was not of me all enchantment all sorcery every
everything that was spoken against your life. And the Lord says, from this time forth, I speak to you new liberty in your generation. I speak liberty for the generations yet to come. But this is the hour where you shall declare that I am free. I am free. I am free from every sickness, every disease, everything that has come against me. I walk into the mountain and I take everything that God has given to me and I walk it in liberty and you shall declare free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. book of 2nd Kings chapter 3 there was a dilemma the nations rose up against Israel and the king sent word looking for the prophet to say come we need instructions from the Lord and the prophet said no not today and the king sent again and the prophet said no again I say not today it came a third time. The prophet said, Lest ye weary me, I'll give you a word from the Lord. But first, bring me a minstrel. And the Bible says that as the minstrel began to play, that the hand of the Lord came upon the man of God, and the word of the Lord was released to give strategy. To Israel, receive now that menstrual release.
Yeshua, your kingdom has come. Yes, it has. Your will has been done. And now we worship you in spirit and truth. In spirit and truth. Let's bring this prayer gathering to an end. If you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, um, please follow after this prayer. Or if you would like to rededicate your life back to Jesus Christ, please follow this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Right now I turn from my sins and open the door of my heart and life to you. I receive you as my savior, healer and deliverer. Come into my life and save me. Fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And just like that, you are saved, okay? Um, if you haven't already, um, go get water baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, a regeneration and renewing in your spirit takes place when you go get water baptized, okay? Um, you, you when you're not a follower of Christ, your spirit is dead in Christ. So it needs to be made alive through Christ, okay? And that happens when you get water baptized, okay? And lastly, it doesn't mean anything if you said this prayer of salvation and you went and you got water baptized, but you don't follow Christ. <laughs> in order to be truly and fully saved, you have to follow the ways of Jesus Christ. That means it's more than just saying that you're a follower of him and that you believe in him, but actually following his ways. What are his ways? They're in his word. That's why it's so important for you to read the word and get to know who Jesus is and what he expects from us. The two most important commandments that he expects for us from us is number one is to love the Lord with all of your might, all of your soul, all of your heart. And, the, and number two is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Okay, those are the two most important commandments that he expects from you. So live that daily in your life. Okay. And um and and stay away from things that separate you from God. It is certain things that separate us from Christ. Um let me go to that scripture. Just so you guys can look that up and read it for yourselves. Give me one second here. Um, read for yourself 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Once again, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Um, these are um, sins that lead to death. Um, there is a such thing as, as sin that doesn't lead to death and sins that do lead to death, which means that you can't inherit the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is heaven and we all have eternal life. So, you know, so, so to stay away from the things in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10, um, and just love the Lord with all your heart and love your neighbors as you love yourself and you will be on the right track. Um, get you a good prayer life, um, a strong foundation um, or a strong relationship with the Lord always starts with prayer. And that's um, at home. That starts at home. Set 
private time aside for just you and the Lord and just pray to him. Talk Praying is just talking to the Lord. Everything that you would, I guess, confine in a person, you can confine it in God. And the great thing about God is that he'll, he can actually do something about the things that you have concerns about. You know, he can rejoice with you and be happy with you when you're happy and and comfort you when you you're sad and give you direction when you're lost like the lord is really awesome and building a friendship and a relationship and a sonship with him is the best thing that you could ever do in your life okay <laughs> you know so many people they be like you know if if I was if if I was white maybe I would have a better life. If I was if I was a man maybe I would have a better life. No, if you have Jesus Christ you will have a better life, okay? <laughs> For real. Uh, if confine in him all of your troubles, all of your worries and he will give you direction. He can open up doors for you that no man could ever open up or um, you could ever open up for yourself through your own hard work and dedication. He can, he can do it for you. He can help you. Okay. So just start, start building a relationship with him. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I'll be on here next Thursday. I'm on here every Thursday at five o'clock PM. I was pretty late today but um i'm on here at, at five o'clock um every thursday so come back here and we'll just praise and worship and do our thing okay let me just read these real quick some people was talking their butts off today <laughs> Somebody said, you're so brave uh, for coming on live looking like that. <laughs> what do I look like? Uh, Sindanto, whatever your name is. <laughs> Honey, I'm a 10 every day. <laughs> Say no, nah, but hey, this is a humble, a humble look. My hair is actually pretty slayed under here, but... Um, I don't like having my hair down a whole lot when I'm praying because, you know, I get in the spirit and I get to jumping and dancing and <laughs> I don't feel like, you know, having my long bundles, um, you know, all bundled up. Hood Rich, if you still here, I can answer your question. I don't think you are. Thank you, um, S-T-A, Mar. Hello, Sloth. Hello, Kira. Hello, G going, um, three going crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Black Barbie. Um... <laughs> oh, I didn't know you need a mass in the house. Okay. And hi, um, Kendall, football player. All right. Anybody have any questions before I get off here? Oh, I can't read Spanish.
All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace. See you next Thursday.